Let's solve for the value of A and B if A and B are natural numbers. Now, many people felt this. Let's get straight to the point. Remember that when you have A squared minus B squared, according to algebra, this is equal to A minus B multiplied by A plus B. Okay? That means that we can express this as A, A minus B multiplied by a plus b is equal to 15. Now, let's bring out factors of 15. Factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15, right? So, but 15 has these factors, 1, 3, 5, and 15. So, these are the possibilities of getting 15. That is 1 multiplied by 15 or 15 multiplied by 1. 3 multiplied by 5 or 5 multiplied by 3. These are the four possibilities of getting 15. If this is the first time you are seeing us, click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss us. We, uh, we upload every day. We upload daily. So click on at your convenience to watch our new uploads. Thank you and give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. So stay tuned. Let me show you how to get this result. Now, remember there's another thing here. This instruction say that A and B must be natural numbers. And natural numbers, for them to be natural numbers, it simply means that A minus B must be less than A plus B. So with this condition now, this has already gone out. This 15 times 1 is out, right? And 5 times 3 is out. Because here, our A minus B is greater instead of less than. The same thing here. Therefore, we just have two, two opportunities or two possibilities here. Which are that A minus B multiplied by A plus B is equal to, let's pick 1 multiplied by 15 or... A minus B multiplied by A plus B is equal to 3 times 5. These are the options that we have now. Permit me to turn to this side. Now, let's all solve for the first one. Okay? So, for the first one, we have that A minus B multiplied by A plus B is equal to 1 multiplied by 15. So, this implies that A minus B is equal to 1. And A plus B is equal to 15, right? Now, if we call this equation 1 and this equation 2, and we subtract equation 1 minus equation 2, we are going to have A minus A is 0, right? Then minus B minus B is minus 2B is equal to 1 minus 15 is minus 14. So to get the value of B, we divide both sides of this equation by minus 2. So we divide by minus 2 and divide by minus 2. So we have that B is equal to what? 7. Okay, if B is equal to 7, I don't know if you can see this, but just know that when we divided this by, by 2, minus 2, we get B is equal to 7. Now, if B is equal to 7, all right, from the first equation, we have A minus B is equal to 1. But A minus B is equal to 1, according to equation 1. So A minus R B is 7 is equal to 1. So that means that A is equal to 1 plus 7. That means A is equal to 8. So the first value of A and B is what? 8, 7 is what? Is equal to A, B. This is the first value of our A and B. Now, let us check. Remember that we also have another uh, situation here, whereby A minus B multiplied by A plus B is equal to 3 times 5. So when A, when A minus B multiplied by A plus B is equal to 3 multiplied by 5, we can write that A minus B is equal to 3, and A plus B is equal to 5, right? So let's call this equation 3 and equation 4. Let's come back to this side. Hope you are enjoying this video, which I believe you are. Please click on the subscription button, turn on the notification bell for us, okay? Thank you very much. Now, this is what we have. So if we add or subtract, let's subtract. If we subtract, A minus A will give us 0. So what we have here is minus B minus B which is minus 2b, is equal to 3 minus 5, 
which is minus 2. So we divide by minus 2 by minus 2. We have that B is equal to 1, right? So in this case, our B is equal to 1. Now, remember from equation 3, let's pick equation 3. From 3, A minus B is equal to 3. So A minus 1 is equal to 3. So A is equal to 3. Minus 1 will cross become plus 1. So A is equal to 4. So in this case, A comma B, let's call it A is not, yeah, A to B to, okay, is equal to, our uh, A is 4 and our uh, B is 1. Now let's check and be sure that the answer we got, they are all correct. So I'm going to prove just one. So let me write our uh, A1, B1 here. Uh, A1, B1 is 8,7, right? 8,7. Now, let's prove that the answer we got is correct, okay? The question says A squared minus B squared is equal to 15. So, A squared, let's take the first situation. So, A is 4. So, we have 4 squared minus B is 1. 1 squared is 15. So, we have 16 minus 1 is 15, and 15 is equal to 15. Now, secondly... For the second one, our A is equal to 8 and our B is 7. So we have 8 squared minus 7 squared is equal to 15. Now 8 squared is 64, 7 squared is 49 is equal to 15. And you can see that 15 is equal to 15. If you watch to this stage, just give me double thumbs up on the comment section. That will show me that you actually watched till the end. I love you so much. Thank you.